question for Kevin. Leo writes in. Uh, he was, uh, and this will hit anybody who has a condo. It's going to hit you in this question. Leo writes. He said, "I have a HOA condo association board members built a play area in designated location in one of the buildings that just happened to be my building, Leo's building." Condo Association sent a, an email stating that all kids, adults can play a baseball in the new area. He says, I can hear the ball bouncing every time. Maybe it's basketball because he's bouncing. You're not going to hear it in baseball. Um, every time someone's playing in the area, this seems like a breach of contract because I thought the condo rules state there is no annoy. There's a no annoyance rule. He says, can I start a class, an eight class or a class action lawsuit against the board for this? Is this um, I'm looking at Kevin's <laughs> face. And he's wincing. So what do you well, think? Well, like I said, the first thing that I think that the uh, the uh, caller had mentioned was that, first of all, let's take a look at the rules that the condominium association has. And that yeah. now I'm assuming that the, let's call it a basketball court. Maybe, it, yeah. maybe it's maybe, maybe it's not. Called, right. But it, but assume it is it properly constructed and installed in a common area that's owned by the association. Um, sometimes you may have on the design of the, the condominium regime on the plat itself, there are certain items or areas that are kind of dead areas there may be another area that's designed for like a dog park something like that to make sure that they've complied with all the rules from the beginning of the development of the condominium all the way up check the bylaws um you know i think the gentleman mentioned something about there was some type of a provision about uh quiet mm -hmm. domain right to access yeah. Yeah. yeah reasonable efforts too so you have to find something in the written documents that suggests that the condo association did something um Nefarious? Was, <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully not necessarily, but sometimes you get to the point that they mean well, but they don't dot the I's and cross the T's. And there may yeah. be a provision in there that says that you can't do what they did. Uh, you can go through the process of trying to amend or revise bylaws, but just with most condominiums, it requires pretty much a super majority to change a lot of the, mm -hmm. the restrictions. So I would say first and foremost to talk to the association, get together and take a look through all your documentation and make sure you're in a pretty good position because I'm assuming they spent a lot of money to on do this it. improvement. Yeah. Yeah, and if you do win and make them take it down, ultimately who's going to pay part of the bill would be him. You. Yeah. I'll Although, go, yeah. yeah. If the association did, most of them have E&O insurance. And if they did do something that if they looked at it, their restrictions realized that they could not have done. Mm -hmm. You may have some ability to go against them, and then they would go against their you know policy. But yeah, probably needs to have somebody take a look at it for them. There you go, Leo. We'll give you Kevin's uh, number in just a few minutes. 